home and circumstance is unique, so a doctor needs to be able to give advice that she or he believes is relevant and appropriate to that situation and that patient. And each patient needs to be able to trust that her doctor is providing that. We want to stop these attacks on women's health care in Ohio. We want women to be empowered to take charge of their health care in consultation with their providers. We want to take politics out of the exam rooms. We want to enact the Doctor-Patient Relationship Protection Act. Thank you. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Samantha Rhodes, a patient advocate from Cincinnati. My friend Jen learned she was pregnant soon after starting a new full-time job. She decided to have an abortion for many reasons. Those reasons are very personal and had a huge impact on her well-being and her mental health. She shouldn't have to explain her decision to anyone, especially not to a legislator. It was a complex decision for her to make and one that she does not regret. I trust my friend. I trust all women to make this decision themselves with their families and their doctors. Jen decided to have an abortion and no legislation should interfere with her decision. But House Bill 59, the budget bill passed into law last year, it does interfere with women's access to abortions. Jen had to return 24 hours after her initial consultation before she could receive an abortion. She had to leave work and drive 40 minutes north twice that week. Once at the medical center, she had to sign a form stating that she didn't want to see an ultrasound. Each step made the process of obtaining an abortion more difficult. Each step undermined her decision. Each step is a political barrier set in place to make Jen's decision more difficult logistically and emotionally. I was appalled when Jen told me that the nurse dropped the ultrasound in front of her. The doctor was required to tell her the likelihood of fetus survival based solely on gestational age. Were they not listening? She was there to have an abortion. Most legislators aren't listening. Two visits instead of one, one ultrasound form instead of none. Laws like mandatory ultrasounds and waiting periods are political interference in medical decision making, not part of a truly informed consent process. Politicians should be involved in a woman's personal medical decisions about her pregnancy. Their only intent is to coerce or shame a woman into changing her mind. It isn't working. The Doctor-Patient Relationship Protection Act would take the politics and the politicians out of the decision-making process. This bill would allow women to feel more respected and trusted to make the decisions they need to make about when or if to have children. This bill would honor the critical, complex decisions that Ohio women like me and my friend 